The show is called Garden in Motion, and um, I was thinking about garden theory. There's um, a French landscape um, architect, his name's Gilles Clement, and did I say it right? His name is Gilles Clément, and he came up with this idea called Garden in Motion, and it's the idea that you plant your garden, and then if a certain plant starts to take over more of the garden and a certain plant starts to die off, then you kind of let that happen and let the garden kind of show you how it needs to survive and how every, all the different elements need to um, work together to make the beautiful garden. I was thinking about that in regards to painting and um, specifically my painting because of the, all the different layers and different elements and or the process is really intuitive and I don't like um, and I actually can't plan a painting from start to finish so I like the idea that you um, make a mark and then the next layer or the following mark would be a reaction to the previous mark or layer and then letting the painting kind of um, naturally do its thing. You know, for this painting, I was like, I, um, I really want to do kind of a pink and yellow, like really brightly colored painting. And I had the palette in mind, and I had the kind of, um, like I wanted it to be more frenetic and more kind of um, expressive. But for example, the painting fan, I wanted it to be more of a singular type of composition. I knew that I wanted there to be one kind of big object and, you know, simple primary colors in their hues. So it's usually just kind of a color idea and a really simple composition idea. So the paintings from 2011 and 2012, I, I was looking at a lot of like Albert Olin and Frank Stella and com, you know computer and digital graphics. And lately, I've been thinking about collage and cut paper, and I've been thinking more about Matisse and uh, Elizabeth Murray. And I think in that way, they're becoming more about material and less about this really specific type of imagery. So um, hopefully, they're starting to have kind of their own um, voice and. Um, maybe not be so, so referential to other artists, hopefully. <laughs> okay. I spent the summer making works on paper and I was cutting paper, painting it, and kind of doing this very kind of fun process <laughs> and um, so from there, I started making these paintings and I really wanted to bring some of that back into the work that I felt was um, a lot more immediate than, than some of the other ways that I make painting. I've also been thinking about the idea of kind of a found shape um, from that same works on paper series where I was cutting shapes out and then I would be left over with this piece of paper that had kind of the negative of what was cut out. So there's a lot of shapes that you can see here, like this shape where you can see the square is still there and maybe at one point was another shape that fit into here. And it's this idea that, um, yeah, just a found shape basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. 